Hello everyone and welcome back to Baltic Disc Golf Championship 2018 sponsored by Innova Champion Discs. Final day, lead card, four guys and uh, let's see who's going to be the champion. My name is Anton Enden and once again with me in the studio, Markus Tvinjanino. Hello once again, good to be back. So we have four guys, we have uh, Krista Weikma, uh, Rasmus Metsamo, Ena Rudna and from Finland, Juhani Vainio. Yes, and uh, Rasmus Metsama had a really good second round. I think he finished uh, seven or eight down, was it something like that? Something like that, yeah. And it's, it's a really good score. Yeah, for him, here. this is probably his uh, first appearance uh, on a TV card, so it'll be fun to see his, um, his gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. And for the final day, the weather turned Pretty, pretty bad, I'd say. The rain was pouring all day long, and the wind was pretty strong. So, so the guys will have tough conditions to play, but tough guys need tough conditions. Yeah, and if you're um, after two rounds on this course and in these changing conditions, uh, if you're on uh, on the lead card, you have to be a tough guy. Absolutely. So, um, first hole, everyone probably already knows about this. And uh, Rasmus will be the first one. No further thinking done, just make your throw and get it out there and it's done. And I think this is probably one of the worst moments uh, in case of the weather. Uh, rain is pouring down heavily, there's a lot of wind and uh, they just want to get that first shot done and uh, get on the field. Yeah, and uh, both first two shots made Pretty easy, should work, no problem from there. And let's see if Christo can, can match those two. As we see everybody standing just under the roof there. Under the tent. Yeah. Christo will be the first one to oh. go for sidearm <laughs> and that is not the place you want to be. Okay. Turned it up over a little bit too much. Yeah, I guess there was something kind of sticking in the fingers, so, so it just... The grip wasn't what he was looking for. And last but not least, uh, Johan Oinio from Finland, playing yeah. for uh, Team MVP. So we have, uh, we have yeah, Christo, Team Inova, as you can read from the back. Uh, Rasmus is the only guy who ha does not have any sponsor deals. NR is playing for Play Trilogy Team, it's a local Estonian. How do you say semi-pro, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the starting platform. Starting for, platform, yeah. For young guns to get their big shot. Yeah. So we see Metsama trying to get it under the basket. I think everybody would love to be straight under the basket with their second shot here, because okay, that's a bit short. Yeah, that's probably like eight thirteen. Yeah, because the uh, the rain won't make the putting easier and the wind also, so they're looking an easy easy birdie on this hole, I guess. And uh, it's cold, so you don't want to yeah. start off with a long putt. This should be okay. Yeah, that, that's okay. Five, and, six and meters. When playing in, in these conditions, the, the thing is that you don't want to take your time as, as, as much as you usually take. Depends on the player. Some, some take a longer time to, to think their shots through, but, but with this kind of weather, you don't want your disc to get too wet. Yeah. You don't want that kind of thing happen. As we saw, Christo kind of tucked his uh, first shot to the left. Oh, oh. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's, that's the thing. That's, that's the thing. OB. Yeah. And you don't want to stand uh, out of the umbrella for too long. No, so. no. And this is uh, only the first hole, so. Even if the 17 to still <laughs> go. Yeah, and even if the sun comes out, <laughs> you're still wet yeah, already. Absolutely. Yeah, a bit too too high for Erasmus. So I might say pretty struggling card here right now. Maybe maybe Vainia can make something happen here. Mm -hmm. The only easy birdie look or yeah. That not the easy but the yeah. easiest. Should the, be. Look, uh, the putt looked a bit wobbly. Wobble, wobbly. <laughs> wobbly yeah. But what's in, it's in. Yeah, it's in. And it's it's the only birdie from this card. Yeah. 
Yeah. Cosmos for uh, par. And uh, I think Christo is putting for OB5 now. Yeah. That's in. And yeah, you can see the heavy rain. Absolutely. And Henar. With oh. an unfortunate second shot. Just yeah. Good drive, good distance. Mm -hmm. The place you want to be, but that forehand let him down. So two double, uh, sorry, two bogeys, one par and uh, one birdie. Yeah, so Metsama taking a lone lead here after the first first hole and, and the second hole won't get any easier with these conditions because you have to hit the gap which which you <laughs> didn't have to do on the first one but it didn't matter it's like not even hit the big fairway anyway <laughs> so and, yeah and this is probably like there's three holes on top of this uh, song festival grounds like on the hill so this is one of the three that is affected by the wind most so. yeah yeah. And also, you don't want to go long, as you know already. Then you'll be down the hill or in the bush. That's not the place you want to be. So, and why you're going with the back? I haven't seen that so often here. But finds a late tree and should should have an easy par. Easy par, I guess. at yeah. least, yeah. And let's see, Erasmus. Forehand turns it over a bit too much, and that mm -hmm. is way short center of the fairway I guess yeah at least yeah should have a good look Let's see here. a bit yeah. early and finds the finds the late tree there so nobody yeah nobody inside the circle yet Although it's only 85 meters straight shot should be easy but it's nothing easy nothing here nothing easy here see. yeah and that was probably fortunate tree, but because it might have, might have gone yeah. OB if that kept on going. So let's see, Erasmus, second shot, awkward stance, and another tree. Just a bit early from the hand, I guess, and and uh, as we see once again, Erasmus trying to save the save a par bogey, something like that. that. Yeah. Um, the tree should have eight, nine meters. And the Henar, yeah, yeah that should be par. Easy for himself. No, no mistakes to be made here. And Vainio giving it a nice run and Ooh, don't go. finds the last tree and unfortunately or fortunately stays stays up there. So we should have a par save. And Krista also has a look for birdie. But yeah, on that position, you don't want to really go like full full speed or, or full power to. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a nice putt. Yeah, as we saw, that was also making kind of smiley face there. Let's see, you want it and save the par. Yeah, good way to start. Birdie and a par from these two holes. Crystal, Crystal for uh, par. And are also par, and that should be now double bogey. Rough start for uh, Rasmus. Although, yeah, par from the first one, now double bogey, and falling uh, one behind Henar and tied with Christo. Yeah, and uh, this second hole had only nine, nine birdies on the on the last last day, so. Not many taken there. Yeah, so. out of what is it like 80, I think five something yeah, like that. Something like that. Players. 90, 85, something, something in this range. And um, don't get fooled by the by this uh, view to the basket. It's not <laughs> sunny yet. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be. Who knows? But uh, all three, 90 meters, low ceiling. If you want to go straight to the basket, but as you can see, Johan, you're already taking the Heiser route. Which plays uh, a lot over 100 meters. If you want to go that route, but uh, yeah, he's pretty in a pretty good place. And Henar going with the same backhand high highway, 
Yeah, way to the basket. Yeah, way to the basket. Still, yeah, around yeah. ten, maybe a little bit more. Two shots are are pretty pretty okay, yeah. I guess. You can, you can have a run on the on the basket. Yeah, there. that's the place you 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 could take. Oh, Christoph nice. Christoph taking the center line. That's interesting. Well, made um, made it made it look easy. Yeah, I haven't seen that clear. Yeah, clear shot uh, under the trees yet. It's usually the forehand play goes from the left side but he went straight to the basket basically and Rasmus uh, goes a bit too high and too much too straight yeah, yeah. on the on the trees but yeah. and he still <laughs> still sees the basket finds the way and Christo has the farthest from 15 16 meters maybe or a bit less ah yeah if it was midsummer i think he'd make it yeah <laughs> in this cold and rainy Mm -hmm. Conditions, it's it's not the same. And are from his knee, finds the instrument. Fortunately, yeah. unfortunately, too low. And Rasmus still looking for his putting groove or yeah. approach. Yeah, this is this time when you can't get it close to the basket, so you can't get your. Whoa! Oh. Oh. That's the way. Oh. Yeah, finish. Nothing much. <laughs> Mission it all. <laughs> An easy one for Vainio. Really, really nice start. Two birdies and one par. Taking advantage. Oh, oh. unfortunate one. Is this the jitters of being uh, on the TV card first time? I think this putt was pretty good. I think this one was pretty much the basket's fault. So, yeah. so uh, I'd give the credit to Rasmus because it was. It was okay, just just not this time. Yeah, and uh, to be honest, uh, in these conditions, if you miss it, like midsummer, it would probably stuck in. But yeah. since the chains yeah. and the disc, everything's wet, so it Absolutely. might just slip a bit too much. And uh, mm -hmm. there you have it, Johanny. Once again, birdie, two pars, and uh, Rasmus with unfortunate bogey. Hopefully, he won't let that uh, affect his game too much. So the fourth hole uh, plays almost as 100 meters and it ends as a peninsula hole. It's uh, surrounded by OBs, so not that easy. In, although in, in the sunny conditions a bit easier, but right now when the, when the grass is, is uh, slippy or more, more sliding, the discs won't stuck as easy as they should. And you never know if you get a skip or or not. Yeah, and uh, here just uh, leave it a little bit short and uh, give yourself an opportunity to run for the basket, but mm -hmm. Mahoney, don't know. The backhand play here is pretty risky because uh, the left side OB cuts inside and uh, just the distance isn't the same on that side, but Henar shows. Yeah, that's, that's the way. That's one of the best uh, shots you can take here. Leave it a little bit short, it's uh, it's safe. Yeah. Safe play and uh, you still have uh, an opportunity to, let's say, float it in, so you don't risk too much with the OB. Yeah, yeah. And Rasmus, his forehand is so effortless. and Yeah, it's short, but still it's good to, good to look. Or see that because mm -hmm. if you see my forehand, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> just full force and doesn't fly anywhere. So <laughs> it's good to see that kind of slight, uh, like smooth forehand. Mm -hmm. And Vainio had nothing else to do to just lay it up and and take his bogey, move on. Let's see, Hinnar has the opportunity for birdie. First birdie, can he make it? Uh, yeah, it already w uh, left his hand. Mm -hmm. uh, from edge yeah, of the putter was he, down. He knew that it's, it's, it's not going in. Yeah, and as you can see, two meters behind the basket, it's already OB. You don't want to risk yeah. with that. Yeah. But Christo, a little bit better, uh, better view for the basket. OB is a little bit further away, and uh, he's confident. He, I haven't seen Christo like being afraid. To, you know, yeah, to he's fight. always kind of. His face is like, oh, that's okay. I can. I can manage it. You have and to, and you then have to, he manages it. Yeah, <laughs> you have to work hard to get out some emotion from him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
I win, I won some competition. Okay, that's yeah. good. <laughs> Let me move on now. Yeah. But yeah, he's he when he gets his putting going, it's it's going to be hot. Yeah. And uh... so one birdie, two pars, and one bogey. I guess it's kind of kind of usual layout for this basket. Somebody takes an easy birdie, and someone misses from the OB or something like that. And yeah. It's kind of yeah. And the way Johan went to OB, it's uh, harder to save uh, par because if you go OB on a uh, uh, sidearm yeah. shot, you're usually pretty close to the basket. And it's, yeah, yeah. It's That's way, the, one way of more... the bonuses when playing yeah. with the forehand also. So, and that is true. But now the straightforward basket, 105 meters OB on both sides. Yeah, but but for a forehand player, this whole I'd say plays kind of the same as the whole previous. Yeah. It's it's just uh, the OBs are on the both sides and maybe the wind is a bit much more likely to affect your disc, but but not much. So so it's a kind of same routine shot. Yeah, that is true. Seven meters longer and and um, uh, you know knows how to play it. Yeah, just on the edge of the bullseye, I'd say. And uh, let's see, Rasmus. Oh. There's the effortless, and we see hands yeah, shaking their head yeah, like, yeah. "What did I just do?" But I think it's you can you can blame it mostly on the on the weather on the, uh, when things like that happen because you normally don't grip this yeah, yeah this much over this much yeah and whoa, Johanne, oh. take it easy. <laughs> 105 meters to the basket, he puts it like 15 meters long. Yeah, what to do when you have this? Big hand problems, yeah. <laughs> as we say in Estonia. And uh, Rasmus makes a really nice up shot, and then should have. Yeah, a just take the bogey and yeah. restart on the next hole. Let's see, Johanny. Now he has pretty okay view to the basket. It's slightly uphill, but oh yeah, he has. I wonder, was it close to OB or wasn't there any OB behind? There is OB behind. There is OB. Yeah, yeah so okay. he went OB. Ah, oh, he went OB. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. It was like probably a little bit less than a meter. Okay, okay. OB, so. Yeah. Ah, and Christo yeah. is on fire. Somebody get a fireman. <laughs> and over. Henar getting back on track. Yeah. Two bogeys for Johanny in a row. Yeah, after that good start. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really easy to, to get the roller coaster on this this kind of weather situation. Yeah, and now we have um, Christo and uh, Henar in the lead. 11 under in total. Rasmus with 7 under and uh, Johanny 6 under. Yeah, and uh, pretty hard 6 hole plays as uh, 1 to 5 meters and, and it's a low ceiling and slightly uphill. And tough. Yeah, tough it is one. tough. Tough to park, but I know one guy who parked it on the first uh, first round. Yeah, and on the on the last round there was only one one bird taken, so that says pretty much. Yeah, it's not easy. Let's see, was the birdie on this card? I think, I think it's not not Christo. Christo. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. You never know in these days. What kind of approach there's gonna be? Yeah. I've seen Christo make a 70 meter approach into the basket in two years uh, in the Winter Championships in Estonia. So, yeah. Uh, oh. That is a nice one. I this, think 13, this, 14 meters yeah, to the basket. Yeah, this might be it, even. Yeah, it might be. Let's see, Rasmus. That he gets it nicely. Nice flips height. over a little bit too much, but it's yeah, okay. it's still okay. 20, Probably twenty something meters. 20 something, yeah. If you get an easy, easy uh, jump out here, it's it's okay. Yeah, take the par and yeah, with this kind of weather. Yeah, that is true. Even with the sunny weather, it's, <laughs> it's yeah, it's, it's too it's hard. Okay. Money hits the gap perfectly. Whoa, and, whoa, the best one. Two really good shots, actually. Young yeah. boys, make room. I'm taking this one. <laughs> and yeah. Let's see if the. I was, for a sec, I was thinking. <laughs> gets a mega skip and yeah. yeah. And th that's the that's the 
kind of slippy grass when it's raining you never know how much skip you're gonna get and once you won't get, won't get any skip and on the other shot you will get the last one and usually when you need the skip you don't yeah, get it absolutely. when you don't need it you'll get a massive skip so that's this goal and Hannah is struggling with the putt you yeah. can see it's wobbling no spin at all uh, he's showing it behind to his caddy See, you he already has made. made. There's the long birdie from him. Get it ready. From Finland. Mm. Half. Half. Half of the birdie. <laughs> but so really, really good. Really good attempt. Yeah. And Cristo makes that long Whoa. comebacker. Ah, too easy. <laughs> like <laughs> he's just walking there. Like, rain ah. coming down, a shower, and. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. Come back for like 10 meters, something yeah, like and, that. And Krista is this kind of player, like two years uh, ago, ago, as I said, playing the winter uh, championships in Estonia. He was like, no hat, no gloves. It was like 15 minus degrees. And I was like, what's going on, Krista? You sick or something? Well, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm feeling it. The weather is fine. What do you think? Man? That's usual, Krista. <laughs> So let's go, hole 7, par 4, 200 meters and uh, yeah, just want to miss those first trees, get on the open field and uh, then you'll see the basket. Uh, you have OB on the left side, that fence running alongside the fairway till the end and uh, this little car park, uh, parking lot you could say, that is also OB this fence on the right side also so yeah you get a little bit more OB in the end but I haven't seen many guys get there yeah the 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 thing that may come in is the is the left side OB because the forehand goes over there and with this kind of weather you might get a uh, uh, turn over yeah, yeah, sticky turn fingers yeah. with your disc <laughs> and it might just uh, go over there but let's see if Henard can match his second round mega roller uh, it's not I, turning over clip Got some trees yeah. and I think it's 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 doable from there yeah if you have a backhand 110 meters 20 maybe and as we see Rasmus ain't happy with his shots at all but he has a clear view there yeah should, should be okay let's see maybe some finish rollers Nah, he ain't, a, he ain't that. He's just showing the young guns. Okay, that's that's, that's good the enough. Di that's <laughs> the distance he has. <laughs> With the backhand turnover, that's a, yeah. that's a really impressive shot, yeah. Because um, he's next to the tree on the left, oh, so yeah. <laughs> pretty much closer. But Rasmus making a long, long run on the birdie or the basket and yeah, finds those, finds those trees uh, just... 30 meters before in the basket, uh, I'd say. And he's now he's playing for par. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it, it, almost impossible to hit it from yeah, there. You it, never know, but it's 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 it might be pretty hard even to get out there because he's pretty far and and the stone once again as yeah, we saw from the yeah. second round. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, on the second round, he got a lucky skip. This time, yeah, the stone fun. said no, no. Only one ticket point. <laughs> yeah, you have used your. Uh, by yeah. and what a skip or bounce however you call it three meters easy birdie no problem and you, uh, you are not showing Ooh. how to not do it <laughs> how to not do it from that distance don't try this at home kids yeah if you want a birdie <laughs> <laughs> go a bit wider oh he um, even had a yeah. view but it's still low ceiling from yeah, that well, distance. Yeah, you don't want to hit those branches early as yeah, and <laughs> it then you still Then you still have yeah. to go for a long putt. Come on. 
Ooh, ah. Not giving any. Almost getting this. Yeah, he's already finding the groove. Yeah. Looks like it's not raining that hard anymore. But you know, sometimes you are all the times like almost getting yeah. the feeling <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> and then you check the scorecard, it's like, oh, only okay. minus two. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, uh, again, just simple crystal. Tap yeah. it in, no emotions. And now with the par. And uh, should be a lone birdie for Christo if not mistaken. Yeah, that is true. Two and pars. Everybody else taking par. Um, yeah, same for, yeah. same for Rasmus. So nothing, nothing much here. Just uh, like my moving forward alone. And yeah, uh, he should be now 12 under. Yeah, 12 under. Minus lone two leader. On, on this round. And uh, as we see, met some uh, four over for this round. In our and finally are even for a par. That is correct. And we move forward to hole eight. Another par four, and this is way harder than the last one. Yeah, and it's way harder than it looks. Yeah, it is. It's so I can say only one birdie taken here, and this played as almost the hardest hole. It played as a 17th hardest one. So, so uh, yeah, it's a pretty tough one. It's a pretty tough one because yeah, the the fairway you want to hit is pretty narrow. It's uh, midway through. It goes slightly uphill. Yeah. And uh, trees everywhere. Trees OB everywhere. Right OB. Side. Yeah, OB everywhere. Almost. So. Look at everything there, and uh, <laughs> and the OB like uh, gets tighter when you get up on the on the fairway that you want to hit. As we see, Crystal making it look. Come on, <laughs> way too easy once again. Yeah. It's, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good on the other players. It's yeah. good for Christoph. But uh, of course. <laughs> Let's see. Hannah flips it over. That looks good. Yeah. Get up. Get up. Get up. Got through. That's that's already a pretty good distance. And let's see. Erasmus. Will he find his groove? Yeah. It's. Yeah. yeah nice some skip. skips and. Almost the same place as Henar. I think he only has uh, just a uh, kind of uh, decision to make that either he goes on the left side, which is pretty risky over the OB, or yeah. he tries to flex something with a maybe a forehand from the from the safe side. But it's as we see, Johan taking the safe route. Just yeah. It's yeah, Got a lucky tree. Giving a long look for him. It's, it's okay to take par, and if yeah, you have it a bird look, it's good. And now you see Christo. Oh no, he's still playing the safe side. Yeah, Not as you risking. can see, the left side opens up, so there's the there's the OB route to the basket, but Christo just can't get it going. Yeah, a little bit too much Anheuser. I think we see Henar going from the OB side. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky bounce and, and it, it stays stays, stays okay, in. Okay, okay. <laughs> the one thing you don't want to hit. And Rasmus just a bit too. Ah, it's still too early. Still safe, but yeah. yeah. That it, that's the risky way if you want to go uh, over that pathway with yeah. Chisobi. You have to trust you, yourself so much. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, with these conditions, as 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 we saw, Rasmus making pretty much uh, pretty many mistakes already with the grips and stuff. You don't have that kind of confidence, so it's it's pretty hard, I guess. And for him, it's it's the only way to just play safe and get that groove on, and maybe yeah. maybe he'll find a couple birdies and yeah. get on the track. And now I think Johan is having a yeah. long birdie look. Absolutely. And let's see. Oof, not bad, not just bad, a yeah. bit short. Johan, it feels pretty good with his putting right now, I guess. Much, 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 I think, uh, more confident than than Rasmus or, or Henar. Yeah, we see them true. struggling pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> nice way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Getting apart from you this hole. You have to puff yourself up. <laughs> yeah, true. Nothing to do there. Yeah, the, the main thing is after, the, after a rough start, it's already a hole eight. You don't want to... Let your head down, just have fun, and then the game is yeah, should should come with that. Absolutely, this, this golf is about fun. Absolutely, shouldn't be too serious of sport. And as we see, 
No birdies, no bogeys, only pars. I guess it's 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 pretty good. It's pretty good on this in this kind of uh, conditions and uh, on this uh, hole. So, the ninth hole plays as the easiest one, 52 birdies taken uh, on the last round here and uh, yeah, I guess this hole plays, plays as a pretty easy one for women also and for juniors and for masters and for everybody because it's a pretty straight 146 meters, you either play backhand, forehand, the second shot shouldn't be much, much of an art to make. So. I expect to see four birdies on, on this hole, even with these conditions right now. Yeah, just hit that 90 meters straight, and then you have what is it, 50, 60 meters yeah, approach yeah. should be an easy one. Although I made a pretty good shot on the first round, let's say I was 22 meters short and made a <laughs> <laughs> run for an eagle and took an easy par. So <laughs> everything's possible. Absolutely. And our doesn't flip it over that much, but still gets a good distance. Yeah, it's, ah, it's clear it's look from okay. there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's only like 10 meters here mm. and there, so. And I'm still wondering that I hadn't, I didn't see anybody go with a backhand roller. Did you see? No. No, okay. Can't Let's remember. see, can I, can I learn it for the next year? <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. Johanny with the long run up flips it over too much. Yeah, I mean, only maybe the only mistake you can make is just go early to the right side and find there some trees, and maybe you have a bit more uh, uh, trees on your way when when trying to approach then. But otherwise, it it shouldn't be much of a hard hole to play. Yeah, and Rasmus inside the circle. Let's see, he gives leaves himself a little bit of. A little bit of a putt. Johanny now behind the tree a little bit. Still has that room forehand. Oh! Uh, oh! Hey! That Still tree. Nice one. Uh, sorry, that house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trees, houses. Yeah. Mixing up. Let's see, um, Crystal. Nice little flick. So, little yeah. skip. Learned from the Johanny's mistake, just yeah. trying to get the disc. Uh, on the ground some meters before the basket and slide it up to the to the bullseye. And our mm. and leaves himself yeah. an obstructed putt. Yeah. <laughs> Five meters three in the way. Let's see, Rasmus first up for the birdie. Mmm, what was that? Yeah. That's the easy birdies you have to make, have you to know make. you have to make, and then you get the Struggle and and uh, overthinking. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, same as me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two young two young guys. For well, Henar, it's uh, second day in a row on the TV card and yeah. still still jitters. Yeah, I, I heard that uh, Henar uh, didn't sleep well the <laughs> night before the last <laughs> round. <laughs> Mark Rotmeister told me that he woke up four times. <laughs> Okay, okay. So there, there might be those jitters. Yeah. And uh, that is front nine. Christo in so somewhat comfortable lead, playing pretty nice round, taking 
until now only bogey from the first hole that unfortunate uh, opening drive but uh, yeah we have still nine more holes to go tune in for the back nine thank you for watching and see you